salutaris hostia, que celibandis hostium, bella premunt hostilia, darobor vel auxilium, unitrino que domino, sit sempiterna gloria, qui vitam sin eternino, nobis donet in patria. Amen. We praise you, Jesus. We glorify you, we give you great glory, Lord God, that you have allowed us this time of purification, this Lenten season. Jesus, we offer to you our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our souls, our lives. We offer to you our fears. We offer to you our future and our past. We place them before you, Lord. Take, Lord, receive. You're reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them, O my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live 
and I will settle you upon the land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice, in, to my voice in supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. More than sentinels wait for the dawn, let Israel wait for the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will never die. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Now a man was ill, Lazarus, from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who had anointed the Lord with perfumed oil and dried his feet with her hair. It was her brother Lazarus who was ill. So the sisters sent word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. And after this, he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just trying to stone you, and you want to go back there? Jesus answered, are there not 12 hours in a day? If one walks during the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. 
But if one walks at night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. He said this and then told them, Our friend Lazarus is asleep, but I am going to awaken him. So the disciples said to him, Master, if he is asleep, he will be saved. But Jesus was talking about his death, while they thought that he meant ordinary sleep. So Jesus said to them clearly, Lazarus has died, and I am glad for you that I was not there, that you may believe. Let us go to him. So Thomas, called Didymus, said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go to die with him. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, only about two miles away. And many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said to him, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. When she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary secretly, saying, The teacher is here and asking for you. As soon as she heard this, she rose quickly and went to him. For Jesus had not yet come into the village, but was still where Martha had met him. So when the Jews who were with her in the house comforting her saw Mary get up quickly and go out, they followed her, presuming that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come with her weeping, he became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me, but because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when Jesus had said this, He cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, Untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Whenever we read this gospel, I'm reminded several years ago, um, one of the music groups in, in the diocese had named themselves Lazarus, and their uh, associate pastor had asked them, so why did you name yourselves Lazarus? And they said, well, because we want to 
be really bringing about new hope, new life with, all, with, with this. And he said, you also stink. Oh, he was joking, of course. But uh, I find this gospel needs to speak to our hearts in a very special way. We hear about how much Jesus loved Lazarus and Martha and Mary. And when he finds out that Lazarus is ill, first thing he does is sit down and wait. Seems contrary to what should be done. He should go immediately to his friend's side make the trip from Galilee in the northern country back down to Judea so that he can go and bring healing to his friend Lazarus. But what does he do? It says he remained there for two days. Ah, uh, what you thinking, Jesus? You afraid of, afraid of getting COVID-19? Uh, why aren't you going, Jesus? But he says it's for the glory of God. And he even knows when Lazarus has died. He says, okay, now it's time. Now it's time. Now we will go down to Judea. And Martha, both Martha and Mary greet the Lord one at a time, but they say, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. They knew Jesus' power. They knew that he could heal. Martha says, but even now I know whatever you ask God, God will give you. Here's this faith, this incredible faith that she has, that despite the fact that God delayed, she trusted. And sometimes in our lives, we might be saying, God, where are you? Where are you? And as we struggle with one problem or another, or maybe the death of a loved one, or we say, Lord, where were you? If you had been here, this wouldn't have happened. But the Lord sometimes delays, not because he doesn't love us. Oh, he loves us so, so, so much. The Lord sometimes delays so that we know when he comes, it is a new and more powerful miracle and we will be able to show our love for God even more. In this gospel, there's the shortest verse in the whole Bible. John chapter 11, verse 35. Jesus wept. Jesus wept at the very core of who God is, that even though he knows it's going to be for the glory of God, even though he knows that in a moment he is going to raise Lazarus from the dead, his heart is moved by our suffering, by our struggles. It's like the parent who knows that their child has to get a shot in order to be healthy. But when the child goes into the doctor's office and the parent says, you can trust him, you can trust him. And then the doctor gives that shot. The child looks at the parent saying, why did you let this happen? Not understanding the good that is being done even amidst the trial and the pain and the suffering. We don't always understand. Certainly, we, it's hard for us to see because we're on the wrong side of the quilt. When we look on the back side of a quilt before it's finished, you see a whole mess of things, but it's not until you get to the other side and you say, oh, that's what it's supposed to look like. How beautiful. And we're in the midst of the other side of the quilt. Right now with all the suffering, with, with the fear, with the unknown. I think God is saying, this is my wake-up call to you. 
I've told you over and over and over, you need to trust in me. That I can do incredible things. That I love you. And sometimes we say, yes, Lord, I trust in you, but still we trust in ourselves. We think we're in control of our lives, and we place our trust in ourselves. But in this time, we're coming to see we have no control. We don't know if we go and get some eggs from the supermarket. Am I bringing something back? Something back that I don't want. We have no control over this. I think about, remember Hurricane Sandy back in 2012? I remember uh, being in my rectory and knowing that this huge hurricane was going to be coming to New Hampshire and the wind as I was going to bed. And the next morning I heard the silence. It's like, um, where is this hurricane that was supposed to be so devastating? And the meteorologists had gotten it all wrong. It was so powerful that they thought that this other front coming in would push it off and bring it up to New Hampshire. It ended up, it just rolled right over that front and said, yeah, whatever, right into New York and New Jersey and did such damage there. But have absolutely no control over the weather. No control over nature. And we have to throw ourselves in God's hands. We don't have control over sickness, over nature, over the economy. This is a sign that we really don't have control over our lives. And God is saying, but I'm bigger than all of this. Put your trust in me. I am the resurrection and the life. And so this is our wake-up call from God to say, let go of your imagined control over your life. Surrender to me. Those areas of your life where you know, you've known for a long time that you need to change. Jesus is saying, now is the time. Come to me, come to my heart, and I will give you the courage to be able to work on those areas. But now is the time to surrender to my heart. Say, Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus, I trust in you. Even in the midst of death, even in the midst of sickness, even in the midst of pain, even though, even with all this, Jesus, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus, I trust in you. I have no control in my life. I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. So let us take this time, this wake-up call from Almighty God. Let us hear it and say, yes, Lord. Help me to change. Help me to let go. Help me to surrender. Help me to trust.
The Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For Pope Francis and his intentions, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation of the Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph. And he came to her and said, Hail, O favored one, the Lord is with you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Our Lady, health of the sick, comforter of the afflicted, queen of the most holy rosary, queen of peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> o my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country to a city of Judah. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Our Lady, health of the sick, comforter of the afflicted, queen of the most holy rosary, queen of peace, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the nativity of the Lord. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hear us 
Our Lady, health of the sick, comforter of the afflicted, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Queen of Peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of the Lord. And when their parents brought in the child Jesus, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Our Lady, health of the sick, comforter of the afflicted, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Queen of Peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding in the temple. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Our Lady, health of the sick, comforter of the afflicted, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, Queen of Peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven 
especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile. Show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A couple of announcements before we go into the St. Corona prayer and the benediction. And that is, uh, first, that, uh, again, we have the baskets at the entrances for the envelopes. And I just want to thank all of you uh, who have continued to support St. Patrick Parish during this trying time. I know things are tight for everyone. And uh, when I continue to get uh, uh, the mail with uh, so many people's continued donations, it's such a blessing because, of course, we continue to have to pay um, the uh, uh, payroll and the other bills that are around. So it's, it's truly a blessing, and thank you for your generosity. Uh, second, next week is uh, Passion Sunday or Palm Sunday. Bishop uh, has asked that we not distribute the palms next weekend because of uh, safety issues and, and the like. Um, so he did say that maybe we can hold on to them till a later time when uh, things clear up and just continue to have those palms for people later. But just so that uh, you know, we will not be having palms next weekend, though, of course, with the, um, with, uh, the adoration time, we will read the Gospel of the Passion of, of Jesus according to Matthew um, uh, with everything going on. Now the prayer to St. Corona. Almighty God, who forgive the sins of your people and heal all their faults, you who call the Lord our healer and sent your beloved Son to bear our sickness, look upon us who stand humbly before you. We pray to you in this time of plague and need. Remember your love and kindness that you have always shown to your people in times of tribulation. Just as you graciously looked upon Aaron's atonement and stopped the plague that broke out, just as you accepted David's sacrifice and commanded the destroying angel to withdraw his hand, accept also today our prayer and sacrifice and show us mercy. Keep this disease away from us. Allow those affected to be healed. Protect those who have been preserved from it so far by your goodness. And do not let this plague spread any further. Holy Mary, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Corona, pray for us. Saint Sebastian, pray for us. Saint Roque, pray for us. Amen.
Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be His holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be His most sacred heart, blessed be His most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy, blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim, all in heaven above adore thee, infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. 